Willis. Welcome back for another Hero Spotlight video. All right, so for good old Last Fortress Underground. All right, so for this episode, we, my friends, will be talking about Miss Rebecca, the elite sniper herself. All right, so hopefully you guys have her. I think she's pretty easy to obtain. If you don't, let me know in the comments below, and I don't know how you cannot get this character, but I'm sure it can happen. All right, so we're, in this episode, we'll be going over her skills, her gear, and her lineup possibilities. We're gonna keep these videos short and to, um, to the point, all right? Now, I'm not here to read the, the skills for you guys because you guys can read that, but I know that 95% people do not read the skills, so they don't know what they have in their lineups. So that's what I'm here to do, help you guys out, all right? And keep in mind, it does help me out as well. All right, so let's go over her skills. All right, her first skill is called In My Sights. All right, so it deals 185% tack damage to an, the enemy with the lowest AGI. All right, so that's agility. All right, so yeah. If you have a, a hero in there on the other side that has lowest AGI, she's going for them first, and it's going to deal 185% attack damage. Now, that level up effect, it goes from 132% all the way to 220%. I need to get mine leveled up, but this is a fixer upper account. All right, next one's called sniping. It's called plus, it goes uh, plus 8% attack damage bonus for this hero. Level of effect goes from 5% all the way to 10%. All right. Next skill, flexibility. Plus 4% attack damage bonus and plus 4% damage mitigation for this hero. All right. Uh, the attack damage bonus goes from 2.5% all the way to 5%. The mitigation goes from 2.5% all the way to 5% as well. And her last skill, which is she's a four skill hero, it's called Precision. Um, casting in my sights will deal an additional 100, um, actually no, additional 80% tack damage. Uh, the bonus goes from 50% all the way to 100%. All right, so let's go over her gear. Now I have death on mine, but if you wanna look at the skills and see exactly what you should be putting on there or an idea, you see tack damage, all right? Anything with tech damage, or which is, uh, you can use death gear for her. You can use hurricane for her. Depending on what season you guys are in. Let me see, hold on. Yeah, that's pretty much all I would do. I wouldn't really put anything, all the new, the season three gear, I wouldn't put that on her. Um, what you could possibly do. Now, if you have any, like the death gear, it's gonna give you attack um, plus 6%, and then it's gonna deal, you could deal um, with the four set. 20% damage after defeating the target enemy, okay? So she's gonna ramp up her damage, and she's already strong already as it is. You see the attack damage that she places with one of her skills already? So she's already doing a lot of damage already with that. Now, what you can do, instead of using like four sets, you can split this up between death gear and also hurricane gear. Let me see if I have hurricane gear, which I know I do. I know I passed it. There we go. All right, so with the hurricane gear, with the two set, you're gonna get the attack bonus, attack damage bonus plus 5%, and then four um, sets gonna give you the damage, uh, focus damage plus uh, 15%, all right? So like I said, you can do two and two. So with two, you're gonna get that damage bonus from the hurricane, and then you're gonna get the attack plus 6% from the death gear. And that's what I would honestly do, guys. I would split up your, your gear and see which one works best for you, okay? They're both pretty good pieces of gear, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so for the lineups, you can almost put her in any kind of lineup. It doesn't really matter. Of course, you wanna put her with her faction, if you can, get that faction bonus. She's a Minuteman, of course. All right, you can put her with the faction, get that bonus, of course, there, yada, yada, yada. Or, my friends, are you taking your pens and papers out? You can put her with, let's say, I mean, honestly, you could put her in any lineup, guys. But if you could put her in a lineup with um, Kelly, Kelly's gonna help her out a little bit here with the, uh, the mass buff. You know, that she's got uh one percent damage bonus for all allied heroes you know that bonus is going to go from one to two percent you could throw her in one of those groups right there and rebecca's going to really pop off okay make sure the gear is leveled up not like this account but this is like i said this is a fixer upper account and i did manage to max out rebecca on a fixer upper account so actually you know what my fixer upper account is actually getting better than my main account and that's getting scary i've been putting a lot of focus and a lot of effort on this account and it's you know for real like yeah it's getting better than my main account so I might have to fix that. Um, but yeah, hopefully that does help you guys out. Um, not too many people I would put her with. I would definitely make sure Kelly's in a lineup with her. 
for sure. Um, she can go in anywhere. Just just tag her along with Kelly. Get that bonus right there, that buff, and then you're good to go. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think. This is just my perspective on what I do, what works for me. Uh, depends on what server I'm playing on. Also, if I'm playing on one of my earlier servers, it's not too big of a deal. If I'm playing on one of these, the newer servers, then I have to kind of like focus a little bit more. Uh, but hopefully it'll help you guys out. If it does, drop a like on the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.